Second class rank requirement 4A. Identify or show evidence of at least 10 kinds of wild animals, such as birds, mammals, reptiles, fish, or mollusks, found in your local area or camping location. You may show evidence by tracks, signs, or photographs you have taken. How to find evidence of animals. There are four basic ways. Looking, listening, smelling, and touching. Always remember to use your leave no trace outdoor ethics whenever completing this requirement. Look, but don't touch. Keep your distance from wild animals and their habitats. Do not take bones or other remnants of animals. Do not disturb their habitats such as nesting grounds and other places such as trails and habitat areas. Don't make sudden movements around animals, especially wild animals. They are panicked easily. Be as quiet as possible and do not disturb them in their natural location. Don't try to touch or feed wild animals. Looking. When you're looking for evidence of an animal, here are some of the things that you can look for. Taking pictures is a great way to show that you found this evidence. Look for footprints, hoofprints, or other prints that an animal has left behind. Bones. Bones of dead animals are a great way to see that animals have been in that location. Feathers. Birds often leave feathers behind. Scat. This is the animal's waste. It can be in many different forms. Fur. Animals often leave little bits of fur when they rub against trees or go through bushes or stickers. Snake skins. Snakes often shed their skin and leave the dead skin behind. Nests. Always be careful, do not touch or disturb a nest, but taking pictures is fine. Actual animals. You see a pic an animal, take a picture of it. And shells. Remember, in some places it is a uh, criminal activity to take shells off of beaches. Listening. Listening is a great way to find animals. Also a great way to experience nature. Listen for their calls of animals or their cries. Chirps, whistles, buzzes, the flapping of wings, and the chittering of small animals. Smelling. Smelling may not be the easiest way to find animals because humans' noses are not as attuned as animals are. But some animals have strong scents, such as buzzards and skunks. Some animals leave musk behind. And of course, their scat may smell too. And finally, the sense of touch. Never touch a wild animal. But you can touch, but not take their bones if they left them behind. Snake skins that are left behind. Bits of fur and feathers. This has been Scout of Rob. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell. And make sure if you are completing this requirement, talk to your Scoutmaster first, and then share this video with your scouting friends.